Yo, it's Rod here, Futures 8B. I'm still scratching my C128D um, itch, and this time it's Geos time. Now, I did burn a Geos uh, kernel ROM. I had one in my Wedge 128, never used it. I've used it now. It's not worth it. Um, if anybody can explain to me why it's worth it, I will be interested, but to me, it seems to break more than it solves. Anyway, let's load up Geos. Now, those of you from Commodore 64 land might not take you a while to notice what the difference is. Yeah, that banding is pretty bad, right? Um, so, yeah, but anyway, here we go. Come on, mouse. There's my mouse. Yes, I am actually using an infra, uh, uh, a mouse emulating a... 15 uh 1351 mouse because i couldn't be bothered to go and get one out of the box but yeah so this is um 128 geos and um to all intents and purposes it looks exactly the same as 64 geos but the thing that's different is we go into here color pad i think you double click it do we have an led on you have to be quick with your double clicks there we go, it's loading. Uh, it's only grayscale. So um, in 64, I think it's four colors you had, and that banding is nowhere near as bad. I'm sure of that. I will load it up on a 64 to confirm this. Well, I'll load it up on the 128, actually. But yeah, look, real disk drive really, really working. So if we go into GeoPaint... And this is loading at a reasonable speed, actually. You know, this is doable. Um, I must get some wallpaper done like that. Here we go. 1988. All of the technology. Right. Uh, we are going to create a new document. And it's going to be called... Blah, blah, blah. Um, enter. Right, and as you can see, oh, well, 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 I will take all of that back. There was me, ah, there was me watching those colours disappear, right? Yeah, because we can go squirrely, whirly, 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 whirly. Oh, oh, it's, you switch the mouse off and on, right? So we can do fonts. Let's have a quick look around. Obviously, I've not spent any time with... Oh, change brush. Yeah. Oh, I remember the brushes. Yay. Uh, black only, white only. Okay. Yeah. And it's more like a grey. Well, well, well. So, yeah, you've got a hint of colours down there. And then they buggered oh color on color on yes oh i take it all back i've turned color on apparently um don't see any colors though do you um well the mouse is still on let's turn that off another highly professional video right color off color pixel edit change brush right so we just go back to a little square yeah, but still nothing down there for any colours. But look, what's this? We can switch into 80 column mode. This is where all the technology... The colour just popped back. How is that even working? Right, here we go. It's going into 80 column mode now. There we are, look, and that is my 80 column capture going on there. Colours are a bit off, it seems, actually. I'm just going to move the screen around a little bit because that's gone a bit deeper down. But as you can see, how much sharper is that? So yeah, if you had Geos back in the day, I mean, that is just awesome. You can actually change... 40 80 column without having to reboot the whole computer that is amazing to me okay let's quit this 80 column 
Right, so that should be quitting. The mouse has disappeared, so... The disc is moving. We're remaining in 80 column. Now, how much clearer is that? Wow. So you can do that. Oh, it is always there. Well, well, well. It's always there. I didn't realize that. Let's go into Geo, right? Lots of disc action going on. Wow, that is actually clear. And I believe somebody was being childish earlier. You know, it's the truth. Anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, so... um. I am absolutely uh, aghast by how clear uh, the 80 column is, but obviously uh, the, the issue that you get is you get absolutely no normal color function. I mean, again, if you know different to me, do comment below. Um, because as far as I could see, there was no color, but just now you... I, I saw it, I'm sure you saw it as well. A big old bar of 16 colours. Look how clear that is. Look how clear that is. That is crazy. Just not used to that sort of image on a Commodore, are you? Right, let's go back to 40 column for sheeps and giggles. Mmm. Oh, yes. Oh, that's that's perfectly usable. Yeah, let's go into GeoPaint and just see if we can get that colour thing up again. All this fascinates me, you see. This is what it's really about, fiddling with stuff. Loading, loading, loading. So, yeah, we're using two disk drives here to save me swapping disks. You see, it's clever. I could put four SD2s in and have everything loaded in one go. Right, so we are going to create a document. And we're going to see if we can get colour up again. Right, go. Yeah, there's the colour. There it is, there it is, there it is. So in 40 column, colours are there. And then they disappear. I'm going to go and click on that spanner when the mouse turns up. Oh, the mouse is back. There it is. Does the spanner do anything? <gasps> oh! Look. Mmm. This is gorgeous. Ready? I am going to draw. Um I know. You gotta guess what this is, right? Ready? Do 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 do. This might be a bit blocky. Ah, of course. Yes, you're painting the canvas. Now I remember. Yeah, all oh, right. Yeah, Geos is quite limited on the graphics package. So what we're going to have to do, look, we're going to draw. Oh, no, that is, it remembered yellow. I'm shocked. Oh, I rem I didn't remember to not press that button. Right, okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete the drawing with, oh, no. <laughs> it doesn't seem right having to, so you click the button on and then you click the button off. That's the deal. Right, okay, so I'm going to try and rescue this now. Oh, oh, that's not bad. That's not, whoop. Obviously, it's not the best mouse action you're going to get. There we are. Oh, 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 do you know what it is yet? You do, you do, you do, you do, you do. We all do. We all know what this is. Right, and then click to switch that off. Right, and now we're going to go to color. And we are going to get some uh, blue. And we're going to colour block that in like a good one. Look at that. Wow. That is the constraints of Geos for you. But yeah, there was me thinking that it was 100% in black and white. And I'm absolutely wrong. So that's nice. That's nice to be 
It's nice to be a bit wrong about things sometimes. All right, I'm going to do that. And look, I'm going to try and be a bit fancy. Oh, no, that was... A, no, that didn't work, did it? That didn't work. I'm going to unfancy that. There we are. So there we are then. That is my picture of Emu. And as there's those extra characters down there that were totally accidental, we're now going to turn them into poo. There we go. I'm an adult, you know. I've got a big birthday coming up soon as well. Terrible. Terrible. Right, well, anyway, I've just, I've just drawn the bird. Right, okay. Well, as, as we're... Whoops. I don't know what I just pressed. I think I was aiming for quit. Disc is moving. Don't know. We're going to go for quit now, though. Right, so we've done that. Right, okay. So to continue scratching my Commodore One Two Eight D itch, we're now going to flick this into live eighty column mode just to get the sharpness back. All right, and we're going to bugger this off over the look at it look at it mm. it is so lish that is the most lish thing i've seen all day wow just me come on disc right can we get Right, now I think I saved the bird. Oh, there's a file called Susan. No, it was that one, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm going to open that one. Let's hope it's not something terrible. Oh, there it is. It's the bird in grey. Right. So can we do anything about that? Oh, yeah, it was in the tools. Whoops. Tools. Get the barker down the side. There we go. Yeah, look, colour has gone in 80 column mode. So, yeah, it's not there for everything. And it's not missing for everything. All oh, look, spray. Emu, you're going to spit at you. Spitting all this spit. <laughs> right, anyway. Um... Yeah, I just can't get over the fact that you can literally just flick that button there and it will throw itself into 40 column. That's amazing. Just me. It really is, right? Here it goes. Oh, disk nearly full. Yes, um, you, yeah, you're supposed to move your files to somewhere else and obviously I've just been hitting save like a, a, a naughty person. So we're going to make it into 40 column. Well, it's definitely dropped out into 80 column. Hmm. All right, we'll do it now. Look at that. Stripey, stripey stripes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, anyway, that scratched my itch for this particular video. I'm now going to switch that back to glorious 80 columns. Yes, and I am using a GBS 8200 for this. And it isn't perfectly stable. It really isn't. But it's letting me do stuff like this. So for that, I am pleased. Anyway, um, until the next video, like, subscribe, visit futuresapid.com. Yes, I'm loading these things using an SD2IC. Guess where you can get those from? Yeah, thefuturesapid.com. Goodbye.